So I want to go through all the steps of how to create a fish. You're going to take your body and roll it around a little bit like this so that you know it's nice and round. And then if you have any cracks or things like this, uh, go ahead and smooth them out. You might want to take a little bit of water and smooth out all the cracks before you get started. And now for a fish, we know that one end is going to be a little bit more narrow than the other, so we're going to pinch that a little bit more narrow. And that's going to be where the head goes, where we're going to put the eyes and the mouth. Okay, so basically we're shaping the head, and then this back part is going to be the back of the fish. So it's, it's an oval, but it's sort of narrows a little bit. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to line up where the stripes go. So we know this is the head, so I'm going to come back a little bit and make a mark there, make a mark about right here, and then one in between. That's going to let me know where to make the stripes. From here, I'm going to intensify those lines by making a little groove in the clay. I'm using this sculpting tool here. So I'm going to have three grooves that go all along the whole circumference of the body. And that's where the lines are going to go. The stripes, I should say. The stripes. All right, good. So now, I'm actually going to move to this fish that already started because it already has a stripe on it. And I'm going to intensify these lines just to kind of reiterate. This is important so that there's a little seat. Good. Okay, now I'm going to take my coil and make sure it's kind of thin because we don't need a big thick coil. I'm going to take a little bit of water as slip. I'm going to put that in my line my groove and I'm going to put a little bit of water on my coil and then I'm going to weave it around and as I'm going around I'm putting just slight pressure on it so that it sits right there in the groove and then and rather than breaking it with my hand I'm going to take a little card I'm going to cut it remove the extra clay put it aside for now and then I'm going to take my sculpting tool right here and I'm going to weld this together. This is called welding and I don't want to distort it too much so I'm going to push it around till it you might need a little bit of water till it looks like it's connected. That's the nice thing about clay, you can kind of move it around you want to be super gentle with the tool. Okay. So I'm going to do that one more time. Take my water and move it, push it around in the groove, wet, the coil, the stripe, roll it around. sculpting tool, take a little water, take your sculpting tool, okay good, and then once you're satisfied with where the coils are, co coils are you're going to just gently roll it to flatten them a bit so that they look more like stripes, otherwise they look like coils. This helps them look like stripes. You can go pretty flat with these. <clears throat> okay. And you can see the edges get a little distorted, but that's okay because it's a natural thing. Okay, now we're going to take this and the eyes go on the top of the fish. And we've already decided this is going to be the head. 
So we're going to make a socket, an eye socket right here, and then another eye socket right opposite. Okay, good. Now we want to score it a little bit, and I'm going to use this <coughs> toothpick. And scoring is cross hatching, so I'm going to go one way and the other way. I can actually do both together, one way and then the other way. If you don't have a toothpick, you can use the back of this tool. It should be just as fine. Okay, now we're going to add a little drop of water in each eye socket. <clears throat> and we're going to add a little drop of water <clears throat> to each eyeball. And then drop the eyeball right in there and give it a little connect so that it's nice and snug in there. The same thing with this. We're going to put it in there and kind of move it a little bit. So you put a little bit of pressure, but you don't want to distort the eyeball. You want to just give it a little pressure so it's stuck. Okay, good. So those are on there. Those are not going anywhere. And then while we're at it, we might as well put the little eye pupils in there. And so we can make a little hole. Another little hole. <clears throat> put a little drop of water in each and then take the pupil and pop it in there. And take the pupil and pop it. Ooh, this pupil's really big. I'm gonna take a little bit off. It's kind of big. That's better. And then pop it in there. All right. So now we have our three stripes and our eyes, and they're secure. They're nice and secure. They're not going anywhere. So now for the mouth, for the mouth, um, we're going to do a line. Just open the, go a little bit, zoom in a little bit. So we're going to go uh, a line here, so you can make a little opening, and a line there. Two little dents, okay? So you're just pressing, flip it over and then press. And then you're going to add a little, just might as well add a little water to the whole thing. And then for your mouth, you can add a little bit of water to your mouth. And these little small things you don't necessarily have to score. So I'm noticing that this mouth right here is really big. So I'm going to just cut a little piece off right here. Boom. And then I'm going to just lay it across the top, right there in that little groove. A little pressure on it, not too much. And then I'm also going to take a little bit off of this one, because I think this one's really big as well. So I'm going to take a little bit, a little bit of clay off. And then we'll put a little bit of water on there. put that on there like that. So now we have two lips. And fish lips are kind of funny like that. If you want to, that's actually sufficient, but if you want to, you can you can use the back of your wood sculpting tool and kind of open it up a little bit. And that sort of creates a little bit more of a realistic mouth. And then you can also weld this down into the body a little bit so it feels a little bit more, oops, so it feels a little bit more integrated. Those are the things that make sculptures look more realistic. So that's called welding. Okay. Okay, so that's the mouth, and those are the eyes. Starting to look like a little fish. If you want to, you can also 
play with the lips a little bit. Kind of sculpt them a little bit. Depends how fancy you want to get with this. But what I'm looking for are just two lips. Okay. Now, go back to this view. Now we're going to put on the fins. And as I mentioned, um, I'm going to put two in the front. Yeah, I'm going to put two here and two here. You can kind of decide where you want to put yours. And I'm going to open this up a little bit, like there, and a little bit like that, and a little bit like that. So that's going to be where the, where the fin sits. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water to each of those. But I only actually want to put one on at a time. I'm going to score this a little bit. and add a little bit of water to this and then I'm going to make sure that this is open and then I'm going to drop the fin in here right in that little pocket okay and put and give it a little pressure so it's in there and then I'm going to take this the back of this sculpting tool and I'm going to weld So that welding is really important. And while I'm welding, I want to make sure that all the little gaps are filled in. I also want to make sure this side's welded. So all the little gaps are filled in. Okay, good. And while you're going, you can work out the cracks. All right, let me get this other little fin in here. Score, water, water, make sure it's open enough. If you don't have these little pockets, it's going to fall out. I'm going to press in there. Okay, that's it. In. I'm going to take your wood sculpting. Usually the back works better for welding because it's smaller. You can be more detailed with it. Weld, weld, weld. And then you want to weld in here as well. So all gaps should be worked out. Okay. Now fins, you know, are a little bit more narrow. So a I actually saw some of you do this. So you're going to pinch the, the edges a little bit so that you have the illusion of, illusion of thinner. And then you can shape them a little bit so that they look like they're moving in the water. Okay. Let's get these other two on super fast. Best to weld them as you go. So notice I'm going to take the time to weld them before I move on to the next one. That's important. right here, so I'm going to fix that. The more pieces you have on here, the heavier it's going to start to get. You're going to notice that. The idea is to go slow, not feel rushed. Take your time.
Okay, all that looks good. Now all I have to left, and again you can move these oops. You can move these around a little bit. Decide how you like them. I want mine to be look like it's swimming. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back over here and fix this little gap. So you want to make sure you take care of care of all those little gaps. Okay, last thing is the tail fin. The tail fin, you're gonna, it's gonna go vertically like this. You have to be careful you don't smash your, smash your face when you do you cut this opening. A little bit of scoring. A little bit of water, a little bit of water. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to take my sculpting tool and weld. Make sure it's really attached on all sides. Okay, I'm on the top right here. Okay, now I'm gonna go like I did before. I'm gonna make this more like a fin. I'm gonna have it move a little bit, give it a little bit of motion. It's gonna make it more interesting if you give it a little bit of motion. Remember, repair your cracks as you see them. Okay. So, I think that's that's a pretty cute little fish for your first um, preliminary step. And you can see what I'm doing here to sort of clean things up. Another good way to clean up sculptures is uh, to take up a paintbrush like this and just dip it in a little bit of water and kind of brush it and that'll help clean it up. You can see it helps smooth it out. I'm going to get you guys brushes. I don't know if we have them yet. Okay. It kind of takes care of like a lot of imperfections. You notice I didn't use that much water. My eyes kind of moving around a little bit there. Just kind of integrating everything. So really when you look at it, you want to make sure there are no gaps. And that's why you... Okay, I think that's good for now. 